A home security camera captures a prowler checking in on a sleeping baby. KPIX 5 Juliet Goodrich live in Vallejo with the chilling video. Juliet? It's frightening. Imagine this. You know an intruder's in your home because you saw that things were taken. And you look at the surveillance video, you see that they've taken things, and then you see just how dangerously close they came to your kids. I was like, anything but kids. You know, I was like, you can take everything away, just don't be near my niece and my nephew. It's frightening to watch. An intruder just steps away from Shandel Bohulanu's one year old nephew sleeping in his crib, all caught on the family's home surveillance camera. And then that's when like, I freaked out because my sister sent us the video from that camera that you can see my nephew in bed and he was like looking in. Shindell's four year old niece was in the next room over. The suspect went over a gate into the backyard and through a window before yanking the wires to some of the cameras inside, but not all of them. Okay. When you saw him open that door and mm. you knew your nephew was in the room, what went through your mind? I got chills. Like, I started crying. I was just like, why? Shindell's sister and her children were inside the home sleeping. It was around 7 Sunday morning. Her sister's husband had just left the house. Her husband was checking up on them through the cameras. And he asked, he was like, was there an earthquake or something? And then he was, and my sister was like, um, no. And then he was like, well, where's my desktop? And then my sister was like, oh my God, we got robbed. The intruder was in and out of the home several times, taking a laptop, iPad, speakers, and a cell phone. The family dog usually barks, but for some reason, it didn't this time. Shindell says her sister and husband planned to get a bigger dog. So that obviously didn't go off. No, they just got this. And in the last 24 hours, installed very noisy window and door sensors after a very frightening wake up call. Now, I just talked with the Vallejo police captain. He tells me no arrests so far. They are reaching out to the public for any information. If you have anything, contact them immediately. That's the latest here from Vallejo. I'm Juliet Goodrich, KPIX 5.